Hello YouTube, what is going on? My name is Blu-ray Collector NL and finally it is time for a new video. It took a while, uh, the reason for that was that my video camera died and I bought a new smartphone and I am recording with it right now. Uh, it's a Xiaomi Pocophone F1 and it's actually really good quality. I picked up I think more than 60 items uh, to show you guys. The first one is one of my uh, most beloved ones actually. Um, one of my favorite TV shows when I was a kid, that is Batman, uh, the original TV series. And this is the book about uh, that TV show. I bought this at Zavi for, I think, 35 euro. And it's a really cool um, thick book, actually, about the TV show of uh, Batman. Um, it's more about the production, really cool photos. Um, yeah, you know, some write-ups and... It's more than, I think, 200 pages. It's an amazing book. Um, if you are really into superhero stuff, especially Batman, this is a must-buy. Uh, it's such a classic TV show that, you know, um, I think everybody needs this in his collection. I don't know if it's still available on Zavi, but I saw it and I, and I was like, yes, I, I need this directly. So, yeah, this is the first item, the classic TV series Batman. Uh, the name is actually Batman a celebration of the classic TV series so the next items are uh, let's see let's start with the superhero stuff the first thing I'm really uh, happy that this this came out actually and that is the 101 limited edition of Howard the Duck in the Netherlands Howard the Duck is kind of hard to find um, I think it's only available on DVD here uh, and there's not a Dutch release of this movie. Uh, this is a really cool limited edition of yeah, one of the very first or even the first Marvel uh, TV movie. Uh, you get, uh, of course, the Blu-ray and a little booklet with um, really high quality paper, by the way, with some write-ups and some photos. The movie, of course, is really... Um, cheesy but it's fun I, I like the movie by the way it's just it's a it's a it's, a, it's not people say yeah, it's a bad movie but it's a classic movie everybody needs to see it Howard the Duck then one of the worst uh, Marvel movies ever made I think that is Ghost Rider I still need to pick up the second part I saw this one last week and this is just a terrible movie uh, the acting by Nicolas Cage is really cringe um, Eva Mendes is a plus for the movie but it's only for the looks um, and I like Ghost Rider but this is not good this is not a good adaptation of uh, yeah, the Marvel superhero Ghost Rider uh, then a DC one uh, this is a Dutch release uh, really expensive actually I bought it second handed for around 20 euro and that is a constant team uh, with Keanu Reeves I still need to see it uh, I really like the Constantine adaptation in the animated uh, DC universe. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah. So if you ever saw this movie, uh, let me know what you think about it. Then one that is still sealed, but I already saw it. Spider-Man Homecoming. Fantastic movie. Uh, the only things kind of hard for me to watch is to see uh, the villain, of course. For me, the guy is Batman and not this guy. But the the movie itself was great uh, and i'm looking forward to the next one then the new dc animated movie justice league versus the fatal five i saw this yesterday and it was okay um some hiccups here and there um it is definitely not in my top eight favorite dc animated movies but it's it's a nice watch nice slip cover also by the way I tried to pre-order these so I'm guaranteed a slipcover. I'm still missing one slipcover, I think, on Vixen, uh, which was not a popular DC movie. But yeah, this one is um, a cool one to add to your collection, though, if you like DC like me. Then an insane bargain on a Dutch website, bol.com. Uh, um, I saw this as a flash deal. It was not really a flash deal. It was in the outlet section of, of the website. And I was like, hmm, I think the price is wrong. Because in the Netherlands, TV shows are really, really expensive. For example, you pay normal for one season of like, uh, let's say Gotham or something, 40 euros, like $50. It's normal price. 
and it's on discount 30 40 euros um so yeah uh, i saw this and it was only 20 euros i could not believe it this goes normally for 80 80 euros and that is the uh, series arrow series one to five the packaging is really uh, let's say potato it's it's really bad packaging uh, as you can see it's just an outer box i will show you and then the then the uh, cases are inside as you can see um yeah for 20 bucks guys i mean i still need to start with the show uh, the reason i didn't is because i watched gotham complete uh, titans season one legends of tomorrow season two right now and i want to start with supergirl as well and then of course batwoman is coming out uh, swamp thing is coming out crisis on earth is coming out so there's so much dc stuff coming out uh like tv series wise but yeah so this 115 episodes on 20 discs for yeah 20 euros yeah amazing amazing deal and in the UK, this set still goes for like 50 pounds, so. Then the first ever Russian superhero movie, Black Lightning, has nothing to do with Black Lightning uh, DC. Uh, this movie had a budget of 15 million euro and uh, it was not so good. Uh, it's about a guy in a flying car. Yeah, <clears throat> but because I like superhero movies so much, I want to watch as much as I can and yeah it's completely in Russian that's fine for me because you have subtitles but this movie was uh, not, not so great no especially not on a budget of 50 million which is still a lot of money and the last one is uh, I just saw this movie like five minutes ago that is uh, the original Fantastic Four movie uh, you cannot buy this uh, like in stores or whatever. It's not an official release. This is a release by Roger Corman who made the Fantastic Four movie. This movie is never officially released. Um, yeah, it made in 1994. I just checked it out. Doctor Doom looks okay in the movie. But for the rest it's cringe and uh, cheese. And But it's really nice to see one of the very first Marvel movies, big movies. Uh, on your screen because you cannot buy this um, it was actually kind of expensive it almost cost me 30 euro uh, to to get this here so but really cool to have and um, yeah definitely one of my favorite releases that i ever had in the superhero section because yeah this is something special you know not everybody has this release then animation the first one the Richie Rich and Scooby Doo show. I bought this on Amazon uh, from Music Magpie. Uh, Music Magpie is really cheap, but the problem is there's always something with the orders. Uh, they place items like like new, but then there's always damaging. And um, as you can see here, the case is a little bit broken. Um, as soon as you tell them that there is something wrong, they tell you, "Oh yeah, no problem. Send the item back." Uh, okay. First of all, I would just say send me some pictures and if not, we give you your money back. But I want to send the item back. But then I need to pay the shipping first and then wait six weeks before I get my money back. Yeah, this is not really customer friendly. So watch out if you buy from uh, Music Magpie. Yeah, sometimes they have bargains. Um, the Scooby-Doo Dynamite Hour Show, the complete series. Um, cool show. Uh, I saw this when I was a kid. And uh, I'm definitely gonna rewatch it because it's such a long, long time ago. But this set feels really heavy, by the way, and that is because it has four discs. They are stacked. That's a bummer, but you know, take it. It was not really expensive. I think 20 euros or something, with the shipping, of course. Oh, there goes my camera. Because the thing is, for us in the Netherlands. Orders are always expensive from Amazon because the shipping, you know. Then this one was actually really, really cheap, also from Amazon. That is the complete series of Animaniacs. Uh, I'm gonna watch this, I don't know when, but in the future, because this is a really thick set, four seasons. Um, I think it's an insane amount of hours. It was really fun. It was one of the last... Uh, series on Nickelodeon that I uh, that I liked or was that a Nickelodeon what was it in the Netherlands at least 
I don't know if it was on Nickelodeon, by the way. Was it in the Netherlands on Nickelodeon? Uh, in the Netherlands, was it on Nickelodeon or was it on... Uh, no, 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 it was not, sorry. Uh, I think it was on Yorin or something. That's a Dutch uh, uh, TV channel. Um, I don't know, I, I can be wrong. But the Dutch Nickelodeon had also shows of Fox and stuff like that. It was really weird, was it, back in the day. But this show was really fun, though. I mean, Animaniacs. Yeah, I wanted to buy the Canadian release, but that thing was really expensive. So I'm really happy this this one came out. Uh, let me take a sip of my coffee. Um, let's do this one first. Also really happy I have this in the collection. The original animated Lord of the Rings movie. Uh, this thing is two hours long, but this is really cool. First of all, the animation is fantastic. The way they draw all the characters and, uh, you know, everything you see on screen looks really slick. Uh, I bought this on WoW HD. I think it was 15 euro or something like that. Yeah, amazing. This is one of the best uh, full-length animation movies ever made. Uh, if I look at the quality of the movie. Huh? Not about the script or whatsoever, but pure... The, how they made it, let's say. Amazing movie. This is really something you should buy, guys. Um, then, The Mask, animated series. The, the complete first season, as says on the front. Um, the thing with this show is, first of all, it's really funny. But second of all, is there's another release of this. Uh, I think it has a yellow case. Don't buy that one, because that one is incomplete. And expensive this one is way cheaper and complete um, yeah for now only the first season if I'm correct there's another season or maybe two um, but they are not yet released or maybe coming in the future or not I don't know but this one is really fun show I also like the movies of the mask so especially the first one of course then uh, Marvel TV series, I'm really happy that I have in the collection because this thing is really rare with a slipcover and that is the Silver Server, the complete series. Um, this one goes for a pretty penny, uh, around 50 euros complete. Uh, this one is Minty Mint, I bought it sealed actually from somebody on eBay. Um, I still need one Hulk show, I think it's an in-between show of 1991. But that thing goes for like 300 euro or something on Amazon. The reason for that is it only has a few episodes. And I think it's only released in Australia or something. So yeah, I probably will never get it because I'm not going to pay 300 euros. But this show was... Um, yeah, it was okay. Um, I saw the first disc <coughs> Sorry, a couple of days ago. And um, yeah, it was... For me, the better shows of Marvel uh, are like Spider-Man, of course, and Spider-Man and an Amazing Friends. But this one was okay. Uh, you see some references here and there to other superheroes, and that's really cool. Um, yeah, it's a fun watch, but I would not say one of the best ones. Um, it's a decent one, but a classical one, because, you know, everybody saw that back in the day. The last one is, I think... Uh, the best pickup of everything here. Uh, normally this set goes between 150 and 200 euros. Uh, the reason for that is a lot of people want it and it's low print. So I saw it on Amazon and I was like, hey, is this correct? The price was 10 euros for this complete set. And there was only one available, so I insta bought it. And that is the Spider-Man 67 collection for 10 euros. It's insane. Uh, normally you cannot find this one so cheap uh, again this came from music magpie so yeah there is something wrong with the set i will show you um, thank god nothing with the discs but one of the discs i think three or four yeah here it's missing that thing to hold the disc there you know al always something with, with with them but this set like i said normally goes for 150 200 euros at least maybe more uh, one of the best uh, cartoon TV shows ever made, in my opinion. And when I checked the back of the uh, the outer case, I was like, hey, something is not correct about the American version, right? But if you look here, it's the Canadian version. So the listing was also wrong. Um, 
Not a problem because this set is completely the same as the uh, American version. But the thing is, this one is also really valuable, a little bit cheaper than the American one. But you know, the listing was completely wrong in the end. But still, I'm happy that I have it. I'm not gonna change it for the American version because I cannot get it for this price. So this is cool for me. And the Canadian version is still really expensive. So yeah, why, why not keep it? Two movies, really fast. Uh, Inception, I didn't have it in my collection. And The Martian, both great movies, paid two euros each. Uh, next tag, let's go to the special uh, editions, let's say, uh, companies. First start with Eureka, three film noirs came out. The first two I already saw, Laura and Human Desire. Um, both fantastic movies. Human Desire, in my opinion, is a bit better. Uh, if you like film noir, uh, definitely buy these both movies because they are fantastic. This one is a single disc, Laura, with booklets, of course. I'm rushing it a little bit because it's a lot, guys. And then Human Desire is a double disc one. Um, yeah, great, great movies. This one made by Fritz Lang and this one, Laura, made by Otto Preming Preminger. Is that his name? I don't know. And Dana Andrews is in this one. So yeah, um, great movies as I said. Uh, they're kind of expensive, 20, 25 euros still. But I think they will go out of print really, really fast. So pick them up if you can. And the other one is Witness for the Prosecution by Edward Small and Billy Wilder. A single disc one. I cannot say anything about it, but I think it's really, really decent from what I saw on the internet. Looking forward to watch this one. More film noir, yes, yes, yes. I bought the Mill Creek uh, Noir Archive 9 film collection. The reason why I buy this one is because it was like 30 euros, I think, and you get nine movies, so it's so cheap. Um, and if you like film noir, definitely buy this one. There's another one coming out, part two, and I think also a part three, which is really, really cool because now I have nine movies for like two bucks each. Amazing. Uh, instead of buying all those really expensive arrow sets, I buy this one, Mill Creek, and I have all, all the movies on two discs, you know, for um, uh, way less money than, than Arrow. Then my first, no, let's do more. Um, the Otto Preminger Film Noir Collection. Fallen Angel, Whirlpool, and Where the Sidewalk Ends. Still need to uh, check these three out. Uh, a little booklet about uh, Otto himself and about his movies. And the three movies in a slim disc. I can show you one. It's not really... It looks like this. Uh, this thing was, I think, I bought it on Zavi a long time ago, actually. For around 20 euro. And that is kind of cheap because it's going up and down in price every time. I think when this one is going out of print, it's it's going to be really expensive. Because a lot of people like uh, Otto Preminger. And his movies are excellent, so why not buy them? Uh, you got some special features as well, as you can see. Uh, yeah, three movies, it's cool. The, the box is a little bit damaged because the box is not high quality. It's just paper. But yeah, what can you do, huh? Then my first MVD Rewind, and I, probably the only one, it's Double Dragon. The reason why I bought it, because I played this game a lot back in the day on the Game Boy and Nintendo. and I think it was Super Nintendo, I think, yeah. I saw this movie uh, also last week, really fun to watch. It's definitely not a world-class movie, but it's fun to see these old childhood memories back on uh, your screen. It comes with a, a poster and the blu-ray and here we have the dvd for me personally a blu-ray is enough uh, the dvd no you know you pay a few euros more because there's a dvd inside and i think it's 2019 they should only focus on blu-ray but whatever um so yeah cool to have double the dragon mvd is actually kind of cheap uh, i think i paid 12 bucks or something then another Mill Creek set, and that is the 80s Overdrive. This was really cheap on WoW HD. We got The Legend of Billie Jean. I saw that last week. Awesome movie. Spring Break, Perfect, uh, Private Resort, Hard Bodies, and Little Nikita. 
the set was sealed, but my little Nikita, as you can see, has damage there. But it's okay for me, you know, for 10 bucks, I am not complaining. You get six movies, around one euro and 50 cents for a movie. Yeah, cool, cool. And another six movies. And now we go over to uh, the standard movies, let's say, the, the big ones. It is possible that I showed some in my last video, but that's such a long time ago. Don't know. First one, I, Tonya. Uh, Margaret Robbie, she looks stunning. Still need to see this one, definitely gonna do soon. Uh, Solo, a Star Wars story. I just saw Rogue One, uh, I think four or five days ago. It was okay, definitely looking forward to this one. I know this one is not the best, but you know, for a in-between movie, let's say, I need to see them before I'm gonna watch the new one that's coming out and this year. Yep, and rip Chewbacca. Then Dolph Lundgren collection. This is a Dutch release. Six movies. Direct Contact, Icarus, The Package, Blood of Redemption, Skin Trade and Shark Lake. On three discs. So that's not too bad. Two movies per disc. This was really cheap. I think nine euros. I know the movies are probably B movies. But sometimes it's just fun to put on a movie and you don't have to think, you know, and just have fun. A Beautiful Mind, classic movie, didn't have it in my collection. The first three Death Race movies, these are also just popcorn movies for me. Um, I'm thinking about picking up the rest because there are more Death Race movies. Uh, this one I picked up from zoom.co.uk, also really cheap. Then 1570 to Paris, I saw this two weeks ago. Uh, not a good movie at all. Um, it's based on a true story, I know. But we see, like, the movie is, I think, how long? 90 minutes or something? Yeah, 90 minutes. We see 80 minutes, we see the youth of uh, the people, let's say, the main characters. And then we see the attack. Only a few minutes in the movie and we don't see any background story of the terrorist or whatsoever. So, really weird script. No, this was not good. Then one of my favorite movies, uh, Grease, uh, one of my favorite musical movies, let's say. Yeah, who doesn't need this in his collection, right? This is uh, still, for me, one of the favorites, uh, together with The Greatest Showman, which is also a fantastic movie. Then Cult Classics, we got Easy Rider, Midnight Express and Taxi Driver, all three fantastic movies. Then A Children of Man, uh, this movie is really high rated on IMDb and I 100% agree, this movie is fantastic, the acting is really 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 good and uh, you know it's about an apocalypto uh, uh, scene let's say is that um, yeah there are they have nobody who uh, they have no new people on the planet let's say um, and there is one woman who is pregnant and she is the one, you know. I, I will not spoil anything more, but she is the one. A cool movie, Children of Man. Then a really cheap pickup, Arrival. I only paid three bucks. I don't know why this was three bucks because mostly movies in the Netherlands, like I said before, are really expensive, even if they are like a year old. But this one was three bucks for some reason. Uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, uh, also really cheap. I just picked this up because I have the Harry Potter movies. I have that box set and I'm going to watch this one uh, when the other Fantastic Beasts come out. Then I'm going to watch them all. Then a movie I heard great things about, Bad Times at the El Royale. Uh, this is it seems to be a really, really cool movie and I think I'm really going to like it. So... The house with a clock in its walls. Um, yeah, this is also cool. I mean, I have uh, small nephews and stuff who would really like this movie to watch. So if they are here, let's watch it. Then a movie I thought I had, but I didn't. The Revenant. Um, Leo and Tom Hardy together in a movie I am in 100%. And this movie is also really, really good. So, yes. Then a movie I bought because of Cameron Monaghan, who plays the Joker in uh, Gotham. 
And um, yeah, if you are watching DC, make him the Joker in the new movie, please, because this guy is amazing. This is one of his first movies, Mall. It's about a guy who goes crazy in a mall and then kills people. It's like a shooting. This movie is not good. Um, scripting is a mess. Acting is a mess. Yeah, it's not a good movie. And the Happy Time Murders, uh, made by the son of, uh, what is his name? Uh, let me see. The son of uh, Hanson, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, acting cringe. The dolls are amazing, though. I mean, how they made it is really fun and high quality, but no, this is, no, this is not good. Then a movie I actually never saw, Downsizing, with Matt Damon. So if you know anything about this movie, let me know. Same for this one, Hidden Figures. Um, I heard great things about this one, because it's based on an untold true story. Uh, and it got a really high rating, so definitely looking forward to watch this one. A movie I saw, I think, a lot of years ago, Daylight by Stallone. This is a Dutch exclusive one, but there was nothing exclusive, as you can see. Um, it, the exclusive thing is I think that Bull.com was the only one who was selling it I think that's exclusive in the Netherlands you know our Blu-ray market is so small that people don't give a fuck about exclusives you know and then the last pal guys is my Disney pal I picked up a lot of stuff from Disney some in the UK and most in the Netherlands the first one is from the UK it's Cool Runnings um, I want to collect all the uh, movies of Disney. Uh, in, like I said before uh, in previous videos, in the Netherlands we also had some movies um, that came out in the past. But first of all, really hard to find. Second of all, mostly scratched. And third of all, expensive. For example, Swiss Family Robinson, that movie almost impossible to find i know on a dutch website uh, there's an, uh, a guy selling it but for a really high price but yeah cool runnings uh, awesome movie of course uh, i really liked this one when i was a kid so definitely gonna rewatch it soon then uh, a disney remake let's say i really enjoyed this one this is in my opinion one of the better disney remakes and that is a disney um Robinson and Pooh, let's say, because in the Netherlands we say Janneman Robinson, but I know that the original title is Christopher Robin, which is not the same. <laughs> but this movie was amazing, um, especially the main characters, Tigger, Pooh, Rue, all amazing. Um, it's so high quality how, how, how they made this, because they are um, like Tigger and stuff, they are um it's not animated it's more i think they made it by hand so they're actually playing with the toys or with the dolls sorry it's it's magical i i, I just cannot say anything else and it's also a little bit of a sad story of course but i really like christopher robin this this movie is really really good and i think underrated as well so yeah then one of the first ones, Cinderella, uh, decent. Uh, one I really, really liked, Maleficent. Uh, I know that there is a new one coming out soon. Looking forward to that one. This one was also really good, by the way. Uh, let's see. Then two movies, uh, I'm like, hmm, for the collection, but it's not that I want to watch them right away. Uh, National Treasure 1 and 2. These are all Dutch ones, by the way. Yeah, I don't know. Did you like them? I don't know. Um, then two Pirates movies. On Stranger Tides, the Dutch one. But he also sent me another one. But this one is then a UK one. I don't know why. But I will uh, swap this one out for a Dutch one. So I have one set. At World's End. I saw all the Pirates movies. I love them. Uh, the last one was a little bit meh, but Johnny is amazing in those movies. Uh, Prince of Persia, never saw it, definitely gonna watch it. Um, some people say it's okay, some people say it's terrible. I don't know what to think of it, but it's one of the uh, movies before they started with the remake, so cool. 
besides that, I also try to collect the uh, cartoons, of course, of Disney. But I only want the first press releases. One second. And those are really hard to find. Um, I have one here in my hand, actually. And that is Tarzan. Of course, I saw this movie. That's not the thing. But the thing is that in the Netherlands, like I say, um, you have cases uh, of Disney. Well, let's see if you can see it here. No. You have cases of Disney with a glossy inside that are uh, re-re-releases -re and with a matte finish that are the original ones. But there's also a difference. You also have matte finish who are the second release. But that's... I can talk about that for hours. Um, the thing with, with that is that in the Netherlands there's also no information about Disney movies, about releases, when, if they came with a slip or not. Nothing to find about that. This one is complete because it comes with that little booklet as you saw here, which is really cool. And Tarzan is a really cool movie. Then Bolt, uh, this one is really easy to find with a slip because it's a later release. Still need to see this one. Uh, some people say it's a really cool movie, some people say it's okay, it's not bad, but you know, for an animated movie, yeah. It's with John Travolta and Miley Cyrus, by the way, that's cool. Then Lilo and Stitch, as you can see here, the Disney logo, Disney DVD. Yeah, this guy uh, took really care of his stuff, as you can see. I, I think I paid 2-3 euros each for these. Not scratched. Then a really cool one, a brother beer. Uh, yeah, this is a really cool one and underrated as well in my opinion. A lot of people are not talking about this movie. But this is a really cool one. I think uh, Disney did a really good job with this one. And then the last pickup guys and that is Empire's New Groove. Uh, I paid a little bit more for this one, 4 euros, because it's not so common as the other ones here in the Netherlands. Um, yeah, I saw this years and years ago, it's it's a really funny Disney movie. And this one is also complete with this thing, and this thing is really important, because if it comes like this, you probably get 50 cents for the movie. So, um, yeah, unscratched almost impossible to find but I have it in my hands and it's uh, like I said uncommon because in the in the Netherlands people only buy Lion King, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast you know that kind of movies and the rest like this and Hercules and uh, let's say Melody Time, Three Caballeros you almost never find because people don't give a fuck they don't buy them you know so yeah Empire's New Groove really cool and i can say guys that i'm really happy that i showed you my new pickups i'm happy that to be, be to be back on youtube sorry for my uh rambling sometimes but um yeah these are all my pickups i hope you enjoyed let me know about some movies what you think and yeah let me know your opinion guys and i hope you enjoyed and i see you guys next time bye